Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, it is Thursday the 22nd of October and I want to thank you all for joining us to just hear another update from Riverside Elim. Anyone new and who might not, who's never seen a video before and might not know who I am, my name's Steve, I'm the pastor here at Riverside Elim Beaudley and it's great to be able to share an update with you today. Some things I want to tell you about. First of all, I want to do a massive thank you to everybody who has donated food for the food bank. Uh, there was the food bank drop off yesterday. And massive thank you uh, for everyone who's dropping food off between 9 and 12 on a Wednesday morning. Uh, we're able to support the Wire Forest uh, Food Bank and beyond with your donations. Families really need that support at that time. Thank you so much. And again, another big shout out. Paul Crook uh, and Hilary Crook and Miriam who's helped us as well. Thank you to all you that are bring, um, sorting out that food and making sure that food gets to where it needs to be. Thank you all so, so much. We really, really appreciate it. And thank you for all your Operation Christmas Child donations as well. They are making a big difference. And if you want to be involved in the packing party for some of the shoeboxes on Tuesday, the 27th of October, please either get in touch with Jackie Garber, who is our Operations Christmas Child representative, or you can just get straight in touch with me, steve at riversideelim.com, and we can sort that out with you. Also, I wanted to let you know that on Sunday, we are starting our brand new teaching series called Holding On and Letting Go. I believe this is such an important teaching series for us here at Riverside. I believe God is really calling us into something that actually we are entering another new season in these uncertain times. But I believe for us to be able to step into what God has for us. There are things he's calling us to let go of and there are things he's calling us to let hold on to even stronger. Sometimes we let go of things, but because we don't fill our hand with something else, we pick things back up again. And I believe God is calling us to let go of some things and to hold on to something new. And I believe this is such an important teaching series for us here at Riverside Elim. So please tune in 10 to 11 on a Sunday morning as we explore over the next couple of weeks what God is saying to us about holding on and letting go. Also, we've started a Freedom in Christ course, which actually is about letting go of the past and letting go of our sin and holding on to what God says about us and living in the freedom that comes from Christ. Um, and I want to encourage any of you, it's not too late to book into that. It's a course that happens at 7 p.m. on a Sunday evening. It's on, done on Zoom. Uh, we had the introduction last week. This Sunday is session one. It's not too late to join. If it's something that you're interested in, please again email me. Steve at RiversideElim.com and we'll sort that out with you. But it'd be great to have you with us if you're interested in joining us on Zoom for that. Again, as well, just to talk about some of the things we've talked about the last couple of weeks on the 1st of November is our AGM. That will be live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Uh, any of you that have had the reports through, um, which most of you should have, if not all of you, um, those are connected to Riverside Elim. The last page of that report is where you can write down your questions and send them to us, or you can email me your questions as well. Those questions need to be in by Sunday, the 25th of October. That's this Sunday. So I've got time to address the questions correctly at the AGM or be in touch with you. So you've only got three days left to do that. Also, don't forget, if you're a partner of Riverside, we're going to be reaffirming our elders at that AGM. And so if you are a partner, you would have received the voting slips in the post Please fill those in and get them back to us by Saturday, the 31st of October. Thank you so much. So you've heard enough notices from me. And actually, I know Jerry and Claire over Just Love at Clementines, our new coffee shop ministry in Butley, would like to speak to you all as well. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Jerry and Claire. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Clementines Coffee Shop. Just to say things are going amazing. Uh, God's truly got his hand on this journey. It's been an amazing journey and we've had some amazing people help us on the way and it's going very, very well. But just today, we're here to ask, it's a little plea, just see if there's anybody out there that can help on a Thursday, Friday or Saturday or even with holiday cover, we'd really, really appreciate it. Um, just get in touch with us and we can, even if it's just for an hour or a couple of hours, we need help. And no worries if anybody's worried about training, like not being able to use the big machine, 
coming on a Monday when we're closed because I'm up the road and come down. Anybody wants to train in, I can do training sessions. I've already got a couple booked in. So if you want to come and learn without any customers waiting for your drinks, just come on down and I'll teach you what to do. Thank you. And Thank if you, you haven't done it, please come in and have a look around. Yes. And enjoy us for a cake and coffee and see what's going on at yes. Just Love It Clementine's. Thank you, Jerry and Claire. Please do get involved. We are reaching people with the love of Christ through that coffee shop and so many great conversations are happening. It's great we're able to serve. Yes, it's great we're able to have a business, but it's more than that. It's a ministry where we can reach people with the love of Christ. And already from the stories that I'm hearing, that's already happening. So please, if you're available, give up some time if you can to serve at Just Love at Clementine's. We would really appreciate it. And finally, just something to encourage you. I'm still in the book of Luke. I'm in uh, Luke 20 now, um, nearing the end. Jesus has arrived in Jerusalem. Uh, and these are his last days before he's crucified. And he does a bunch of teaching to people and the Pharisees together. And in this teaching, he refers to uh, a quote back in the Psalms where he says, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And he's talking about himself being the cornerstone there. But obviously he gets rejected by the Pharisees and the people at this time. I love that word cornerstone. Christ is the cornerstone. Cornerstone is very easy just to think it's a stone that goes on the corner of a building. But actually a cornerstone is so much more. A cornerstone, when you're building a building, is the first stone that gets laid. Not only is it the first stone that gets laid, but the cornerstone sets the direction for the entire building. Christ here is our cornerstone. That means when Christ is our cornerstone, he sets the direction of our life. And actually, our life gets built around Christ. Christ is not an add-on, but he is central that sets the direction. We don't build Christ into our life. We build our life around Christ. And what happens when Christ is our cornerstone? We engage more with Jesus. Our steps are more his than ours. We see and experience more of the kingdom of God in our lives and we see more of the kingdom of God around us. Isn't that what we all want? So I want to encourage you all. Realign your life. Make sure that Christ is the cornerstone set in the direction of your life. Don't just squeeze him in and add him on, but build your life around him and you will see more of the kingdom of God here. That's awesome. Even in uncertain times, nothing can stop the kingdom of God. So let's realign our lives. Let's make Jesus our cornerstone and he will set the direction of our paths. Meanwhile, stay safe. Wash your hands. Follow the government guidelines. Look after yourselves and more importantly, look after each other. And I cannot wait to see you soon.